All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, what I want to go over is why ChatGBT or sort of any sort of AI model is the best way you guys can literally pass certifications. It's better than any model that I've seen. It's better than textbooks. It's better than videos. It's, it's ultimately, in my opinion, the most effective, the most efficient, and the most and the easiest way to actually learn the skill and actually get the practice reps for you to pass that certification, right? Because as you guys know, when it comes to tech certifications, whether it may be a CompTIA, whether whether it's a CSSP IC2 squared, whether it's a Cisco certification, Juniper certification, there are things that you have to learn, whether it's acronyms, whether it's concepts, whether it's certain things that you have to learn, right? And it may be difficult to comprehend certain topics, right? Like a topic, for example, like encryption, right? When you're trying to learn encryption and you're like, wait, what's the difference between encrypting and hashing and, and how are those two kind of go together is, you know, and those kind of things, sometimes when you're watching a video, you're looking at it, you're watching the video, right? And then you're learning it, but then you're actually not understanding it. That There's two different things, guys. There's learning and there's understanding. Actually, there's listening, learning, and understanding. Right. So the way I've, I when it comes to a lot of people, their preferred method is either reading or, or watching a video. Right. Like a course video. Right. So those two methods are great. But if you guys aren't really understanding the topic in a deeper level, um, it's, it's going to be difficult. Right. So and the, the main difficulty is when you let's say you're watching a video. Right. And they're explaining a concept to you. You're watching that video. They're explaining the concept. Right. But the issue is when they're explaining that concept, you're not able to get real time feedback on certain questions that you have asked, right? Because they may be explaining a topic and you're like, I kind of get it, but, or maybe you don't even get it, but you continue watching the video just to finish it through, right? But that is the worst way you can possibly do it because the best way is literally just AI. It literally is because you, you get the topic, whether it's routing, right? Or let's just, let's just talk about static routing for this particular um, concept, right? So you're, you're learning static routing, you, you're trying to figure out what's the next hop, what's the network address, all that stuff, right? And you're going to be confused on like, what are they asking? What is going on, right? And if we're not instructing it well enough, and you have these certain questions that are asked, you're like, how am I going to understand this? And then you go to the book, you also read the book, and you're like, I don't even know what's going on. And then it becomes difficult to understand, or even worse, you assume you understand the topic, right? You under, you, you assume you understand it in a deeper level when in reality, you don't really understand it well enough. Right. And that's where AI comes in. Right. And this, it doesn't matter which AI tool you use. They're all pretty much good. Um, you can use ChatGPT that since that's the most popular, but what you need to do is you, you put the concept, like any sort of question that you have, right? Whether it's what's the next hop on a static route. Can you show me an example? You put that question down. The AI, the AI will literally write that down for you and give you an answer. Then you're going to ask if that answer is sufficient enough for you. Great. But most of the time, it's never going to be sufficient enough. So what you do is then you read whatever the, the, the chat said to you. And as a response, you want to first read what it says and any sort of area in that text that you do not understand or have any sort of, it could be a dumb question. It could be any sort of question, any sort of question you have ask, Hey, you talked about this. Can you explain what you mean more about that? And then you go ahead and explain that. If that's not sufficient enough, can you explain that to me in a different way? Do it again. Can you explain that enough to me in a different way again? And if, even if that's still not sufficient, say, Hey, I am pretty dumb. I still don't understand this concept that you're, that you're talking about. Can you please explain to me like, as if I'm a fifth grader, then we'll literally explain it to you as a fifth grader. So why is this important? Right? As you are learning, this AI is almost acting as if it's your teacher, right? And that's the key thing, right? You don't, you don't need the teacher to be there to help you when you have this AI that literally can give you the detailed explanations of how to learn. So that's what why this AI is so effective when it comes to learning for certifications, because most certifications, as you know, it's mostly just multiple choice. And multiple choice questions, most of that stuff is just comprehension of certain topics and, and things, right? So it, it, it's incredible the, how useful it is, but you guys have to use it the right way, right? And you have to know what questions to ask. And you also have to be curious enough to ask those questions when you're learning the concept. So that's, it, it's a whole cohesive thing that you guys have to understand. Um, but what we'll do now is we're going to go into the computer and I'll show you exactly how to understand concepts, what questions to ask um, on the AIs. 
that way you can easily learn it. So we'll go ahead and jump into that right now. All right, guys, so welcome back to the video. Uh, so what we are going to be discussing here is how can we use chat GBT to literally help you study for exams, study uh, for certifications, or even help you understand concepts that you struggle with in IT or any sort of tech concept, right? I know you guys traditionally like to use textbooks or videos, but using an AI chatbot is going to be the easiest way to actually study for certifications because this can actually be your teacher. Literally, it's going to be your teacher. Let's say your learning concept, let's say hypothetically you're studying for your CCNA, right? Your Cisco certification, right? And you're learning networking concepts and you're stuck on one of the concepts, let's say DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, right? I think that's what it stands for, but we'll find out. Um, So so if I go here, I, I go into the, the message, right? And I just say, what is DHCP? Um, That's the main thing, right? What is DHCP? So that's, this is how I'd use it, right? So you have a question, you want to find out what DHCP is. And the cool thing about DHCP, um, or really with, with, with ChatGPT is, <laughs> I said ChatGPT, but I meant to say DHCP. Cool. But the, 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 cool, the thing is, right? It, it's going to explain things in a in a manner where it's easier to read, easy to get the context, easier to get the juice that you need to fully understand the concept. So dynamic host configuration protocol is a network management protocol used to automatically assign IP addresses or other network configuration parameters to devices on a network. This simplifies the process of configuring devices to ensure that they can communicate effectively. Cool. So the key point is it, it automatically assigns IP addresses, right? That's interesting. Okay, cool. So now you kind of know it automatically assigns IP addresses. So automatic IP address assignment. That's the key point, right? Um, and as you can see here, we can even see how DHCP works. So these are the key, these are the key features. Now we can actually see what is going on behind the scenes for DHCP. So there's DHCP discover, DHCP offer, request, and acknowledgement. You're like, hmm, okay. Why does it need why does it need these steps, right? That's maybe a question that you have, right? Because if you're watching a video and they're explaining this, and you have a question that it's a, it may seem like a dumb question, and the video that you're watching uh, that doesn't explain this, or the book doesn't explain this, you go here and you're saying, "Why does it have these steps in the first place?" Right? You go ahead and copy this, and you say, "Why? Why does it does it have these steps?" Oh my god, my typing is so bad. Um, these steps, right? So this is the key thing, right? You go here and paste that in there. So you're asking it, why did it have these steps, right? Why? The client initially doesn't know, doesn't know where the DHCP is, server is and or what the IP address it can use. By broadcasting the discover uh, message, the, the client can let all devices in the network know it's looking for a DCP server. Interesting. So it brought, it's in the broadcast message to everyone, every end host in the network to find the DHCP server. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Why does it need a DHCP server? Right? Why, why does it need, why does it need, oh my God, a DH, oh my God, DHCP server. That's another question you may have. And there we go. A DHCP server essentially is used because it acts as the central authority responsible for managing and distributing IP addresses and other network configuration details, right? Interesting. So a DCP server is like a place that holds the IP address pools for us, essentially. Interesting. So now, why am I going, why am I asking these questions, right? Because as you're learning, you're going to have these questions that you may ask, right? Um, and these particular questions are going to be, they may sound like dumb questions and Google may not be good enough, or you're just struggling to understand a certain topic. You go here. And one of the cool things that you can do, right, is... Um, you say, explain, right? Explain this to me like I'm five, right? That's the cool thing um, about ChatGPT is you can actually have it explain it to you at, like in the in the most simplest way that a child would understand, right? The DHC pervert is like a party organizer who gives out name tags to everyone when they arrive. See how great that analogy is? It's giving you great analogies that you can use because analogies are great ways for you to sort of understand topics, right? And, and that's what it does for you here, right? So you walk into a party, you don't know who gives out, uh, you don't know who, who's giving out the name tags, so you shout out, who's giving out the name tags, right? And this is the DCP discover step, right? So you're looking for the person who's giving out the name tags at a party. So you're looking for that person, 
right? Because you need a name tag so people can know who you are in that, in that party. See how easy it is to understand now? So a name tag is basically an IP address, right? It, it, you got to understand that analogy, right? And now, now you're going to not only know what, what DHCP is, but you're finally going to understand what DHCP is. That's the key point. That's really the key point why chat box and chat bots with, uh, with AI, like ChatGPT or any AI model is extremely useful because you can ask these sort of questions and it'll give you a way of understanding topics now, right? Because I'm pretty sure doing this is way better than reading a book and saying, what the heck did I just read from a textbook, right? This is much easier. Um, so really what you, this, the best way of studying, I would say, is watching a video. And then once you watch that video and you still don't know what a certain topic is or you fully don't understand it, go here and actually try to um, figure out what the answer is and ask questions, right? Ask, and these questions are not hard questions. Explain like I'm five, like a five, right? Like I'm making typos and grammatical errors and it still doesn't matter, right? Um, as you can see here, why, why does it need a DCP server? You ask another question right there, right? And we're saying, why does it have these steps, right? You just have to just do this and it will make sense, guys. It's the most useful tool. I've been using it. Um, I'm studying for a CISSP, and I'm trying to understand the difference between hashing and encryption. Like, they both sound like the same thing. And I was like, what is the difference? What is the difference? What is the difference, right? It may sound like a dumb question for others. It may sound like a tough question for others. That's why I went to the chat, GB, chat GBT and asked it, what's the difference? Can you explain to me like I'm five? Can you explain it again and again and again and again until I finally understood the difference, right? And that's the key point. That's how you get to the level of knowing versus understanding, right? And that is why this, why AI is going to be the best way for you guys to learn. Um, it, it's remarkable. It's very easy to use. It's free. There's no excuse not to use this. And this should be your number one tool set to actually learn concepts, in my opinion. It's better than books. I don't even believe in books anymore. The whole point of books is it has a structure, but for understanding, this is better. This is almost, this is better than videos as well, right? Because you can actually go here and ask questions and you can actually understand it. So if you pair this with videos and this, your learning is going to reach a high, high, high level, right? So go ahead and use this feature in ChatGPT, really not a feature, but use ChatGPT in general, ask questions, and you guys are going to learn incredibly fast, incredibly fast. So um, to wrap it up, use ChatGPT. It's a great software. It's amazing. It's cool. Go ahead and use it. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe, see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and yeah, if you want, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put it in the comment section below and we can kind of go from there. And also if you have questions for me and you want to message me, go ahead and Instagram and send me a quick DM and I can go ahead and answer whatever questions that you have. And yeah, we'll kind of go from there. So thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. Um, if you guys um, love it, just please give it a thumbs up. Um, with that being said, everyone, have a good day. Peace.